What's going on, comic fans? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. It's been a while. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, today, I wanted to talk a little bit about books that I'm looking forward to this summer. If you're new to the channel, it is the year of the custom bind here. That's mostly how Matt and I collect and read now is through these hardcover custom bound collections that we end up making. Um, through either Lehman, Houchin, Herring, and Robinson, whatever it may be. But we still do get some official Omnis. Uh, and these are the ones that I'm definitely going to have on my wish list, on my pre-order list, on my day one list. Um, ten books really is, is what I've got on my list. I'm sure there are a bunch that I didn't see. So be sure to let us know down below what books you're looking forward to. Of course, the place I'll be going to grab all my books is OrganicPriceBooks.com, our, our incredible, incredible sponsor. A fantastic website. You can pre-order on there. You can buy whatever you want to buy that's out already. Um, their selection is growing. Their availability continues to grow. JP over there is an incredible shipper. He delivers quickly, um, effectively, and you know what? The packaging itself is really, really incredible. I can't recommend it enough. Check out the website. There's a link down in the description below that'll take you there. And once you're at checkout, it'll give you an extra $2 off your order. You can also use the promo code THC2. That will give you $2 off every single order from OrganicPriceBooks.com. Amazing, amazing website. Highly recommend and checking them out it's the place matt and i go whenever we need to buy new hardcover comic collections so can't recommend them enough and now without further ado let's start talking about the most anticipated books for me personally coming out this summer <laughs> First up on my list, it's going to blow some people away, I know, but uh, I've got a, a few Marvel books on this list, honestly, a few Marvel books. The first one that I want to talk about is Charles Soule's run on Daredevil. There's going to be an entire omnibus collecting the full run. Uh, this is a Daredevil run I have not personally read, but I've vicariously enjoyed through the comments other people have made to me about the series. I've heard that it's incredible. I know Matt Murdock, I believe, becomes... Um, I think he starts working as a prosecutor instead of being a defendant, which is a, a pretty big change for the character. He does also get a protege. We get to see characters like Elektra return. Um, fantastic artwork by Ron Garney, who is a, you know, sort of a, a, a legend almost in the comic book industry. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing all of that artwork in an oversized format. Daredevil is a character who, for some reason, continues to have nonstop incredible runs. Uh, I've really enjoyed what I've read of this Darsky run as well well so i can't wait for that out to get an the omnibus treatment once it's all said and done but that's definitely first on my list looking forward to the uh, charles soul daredevil omnibus absolutely next up an omnibus that took way too long to come out in my opinion and that is uh, the new 52 justice league omnibus volume one which is going to collect everything for the justice league up until uh, forever evil basically right up until forever evil um, so you're getting trinity war in there you're getting you know aquaman throne of atlantis all that stuff all the tie-ins that came in with the main series itself uh, so going to be a really juicy omnibus with some amazing content you got artists like jim lee ivan reyes paul pelletier um, jason fabic i think maybe did some issues at that point as well maybe not though either way incredible incredible artists on there as well definitely worth getting it in oversized format hopefully no misprints we'll see and hopefully we get a, a volume two a forever evil omnibus would be awesome that was an excellent excellent event and i think more people need to read it but very much looking forward to the justice league new 52 omnibus Next up, I gotta give Black Hammer some love. World of Black Hammer Library Edition Volume 3 is coming out. It's gonna collect two minis that I personally am extremely excited for. Barbalian, Red Planet, and Colonel Weird Cosmogog. Um, I forget who the artists are on these. I, I believe it's Gabriel Hernandez, Walton, Barbalian, and I forget who the artist is on Colonel Weird. I feel terrible about it. I've seen their artwork. It's incredible. Um, I can't wait to read these. I love Black Hammer. The universe is incredible. The first two World of Black Hammer volumes have been spectacular as well, and I'm very much looking forward to learning more about Barbalian and Colonel Weird, especially Colonel Weird. I think that's going to get very, very bizarre, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I haven't read either of the minis, so I'm highly, highly anticipating them, um, and whatever else may come from the World of Black Hammer in the future, there must be at least one more library edition that can come out in the future. We'll see, though. We'll see, but World of Black Hammer Volume 3. Check out the first two if you haven't. Check out the Black Hammer Library editions as well. There's four total for the universe. Can't recommend it enough. Next up, another DC book, Deathstroke by Christopher Priest. 
This is going to collect his entire run for Rebirth, which ends up being close to like 55 issues or so. I think there were some crossovers with Teen Titans, um, but a very, very interesting run. I haven't read the entire thing. I read about the first dozen to 18 issues as it was coming out. Um, an incredible array of artists whose names I, I don't have written down and I don't want to butcher anyway. Um, incredible, incredible artwork. But either way, what you're getting here is you're following, obviously, Slade Wilson. What's cool about it is you get to jump around in various points of time. It can get confusing because you're not necessarily being told the time frame that you're in. It's just sort of based on visual cues, character appearances, things like that. Which gets even more confusing when they start altering their appearances and things like that. Um, it's a very interesting ride. I, I know d down the line, sort of their... It re it's more of a story really about the the Deathstroke family, if you will. Um, there are a lot of you know members that show up that come and go. You get to see Slade uh, interact with his kids in the past, um, and it, just in general, from what I read, it felt kind of fragmented. That you know um, the way the story was told, but it came together near the end. I'm very interested to see where it goes. I've seen some controversial things about the run in terms of enjoyment. Um, but I'm looking forward to being the judge myself. I love Deathstroke, and it's nice that there's a what seems like a, a, a incredibly sophisticated run on it. Nothing against people who have written the series in the past. Um, it's just nice that the characters moved away from being strictly an action character who is using god blades or something to kill demons and gods and crazy stuff like that. Alrighty, another Marvel Omnibus I am very much looking forward to is the X-Factor by Peter David Omnibus, Volume 1 X-Factor. People have been screaming for a set of X-Factor Omnis for decades. It's finally happening. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It looks like there's going to be 30-ish issues in this volume. Um, very much looking forward to it. I don't know who the artists are exactly on this series. I know Jai Lee has some artwork in here um, that looked pretty, pretty cool. A lot of very 90s looking artwork, so should be fun. A nice little black from the past. I personally haven't read all of Peter David's X Factor. I've read chunks of it and really enjoyed what I was able to read. So I'm definitely looking forward to picking these up and getting it from start to finish. We'll see how many volumes this thing goes for. Um, I'm very excited for it. I'm finally getting a little bit more Marvel love in my collection. A few image deluxe editions that I'm very much looking forward to. Middle West, the complete collection will co collect the entire story um, by Scotty Young and Jorge Corona. Uh, I th believe it's like 16 issues, maybe 18 issues total. Uh, should be very exciting. Jorge's artwork looks incredible. I was very lucky I got to design a custom bind someone did for the series, and it was an absolute joy to look through. I can't wait for it. I don't know if it's going to be oversized. It probably will be, though, just because why not? Um, it is Image. They don't release that many standard size hardcovers, but you never know. Another one is Gideon Falls. This is the incredible, incredible story by Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino. Um, we're getting the first deluxe edition is going to collect the first 16 issues. I think there are 27 issues total, so the second volume will have to collect the remaining um, 11 uh, I think some of them are oversized, so hopefully the size discrepancy isn't too large, but it's nice that this is finally happening. I think we all anticipated it, but the fact that it wasn't happening for so long was a bit weird. Nice that it finally is. Um, another image book that I'm very, very much looking forward to is the Death or Glory Prestige Edition. This is the story by Rick Remender and the artist Bengal. 11 issues total. They call it the Prestige format, and I, I imagine as with all Rick Remender hardcovers at Image, it will be extra extra oversized um, which will be fantastic because Bengal's artwork is to die for it's absolutely gorgeous the colors are vibrant I cannot wait to have this in my hands and see it in the big massive pages um, 11 issues total a great story about uh, well I don't want to spoil too much there's weird stuff that happens but there are a lot of really cool car chases a lot of cool chase scenes in general fantastic action great stories and as always with Rick Remender you love and hate all the characters for their own reasons um, can't wait to reread that story once again in the absolute size format it'll be awesome Another book that I think has finally, I, I, don't, I don't think it'll get delayed again, I really hope not anyway, it is the Lock and Key Keypendium key, key Compendium? I forget what it's called now, it used to be called the Keypendium, now it's called something else Compendium, Keyhouse Compendium, um, a hardcover edition collecting the entire Lock and Key saga, that epic, gorgeous, incredible, masterful story. Um, I cannot wait for this. I used to have the Master Editions personally, but I sold them. If you're, if you're unfamiliar with the series Lock and Key, it's a series written by Joe Hill. Um, 
it basically follows the Locke family as they um, they move into a house, the key house, that is a house that has all these mysterious keys hidden throughout it that grant them either different abilities, um, but that's basically it, different abilities, gives them different options uh, in in the world of Lock and Key. A really fantastic story, very gory, very adult, definitely not for kids. Um, the artwork is incredible, absolutely gorgeous. I really hope the binding is good on this since it contains the entire story. It'll probably be a very thick, thick book, but uh, very much looking forward to it. I think I had mentioned this on like my first video that I did at the start of this year for the books that I was looking forward to in Q1, and it got pushed back. Hopefully it doesn't get pushed back anymore. I'd really love to own this book already. Uh, Lock and Key, the Key House Compendium hardcover. Definitely recommend checking it out. The last book I wanted to talk about is the Madman Library Edition. It's finally coming out. I already saw that Volume 2 is solicited as well. It's going to be a 700-page book. This one's going to collect, I think, the first two mini-series of Madman and then the first two 10 issues of the third series. So you're looking at 16 issues total, 700 pages, library edition size, um, Mike Allred through and through. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. I know Matt is a huge fan of Madman. I've personally read little bits of it, but not the entire thing. I cannot wait to get these library editions. I think it's going to be the perfect way to collect them uh, without getting really crazy with pricing like you have to get for uh, Gargantua and whatever the other current volumes are called. Um, so I can't recommend that enough. Volume 2 is also coming out. I think it's solicited for end of year, maybe next year, early next year. Either way, very exciting stuff. Madman Library Edition Volume 1. What it does, what, what the character is about, he's a very bizarre character. Um, his name is, he goes through all sorts of goofy scientific adventures, um, dealing with goofy scientific characters, all through the, uh, um, all with the amazing artwork by M Mike Allred and, and the crazy colors of Laura Allred. A fantastic, fantastic book. I can't wait to read all of it and figure out exactly what the hell is going on with Madman and the Atomics in, uh, in their universe. So, like I said before, let us know what books you're looking forward to the most this year, this summer anyway, this summer. We'll stick to summer. We'll do, definitely do another video like this near the third uh, period of the year, the sort of fall-winter era. But um, these were books coming out in between June and August. So if there are books in June and August that between June and August that you're really looking forward to, let us know down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And when you do pick up your books this year, do it from organicpricebooks.com. With the promo code THC2, you'll get an extra $2 off every single one of your orders. Fantastic, fantastic service. You can pre-order. They got great discounts. Their inventory is growing and growing. Selections growing and growing. Fantastic, fantastic website. Cannot recommend them enough. Use the code THC2 at checkout. We'll get you an extra $2 off your order. Thank you all very much for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. Until next time, as always, you stay classy, Internet.